Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to take a look at cloud storage, what it is and how to actually send your files to OneDrive to uh, make a backup of your important stuff. So a lot of people are a little mixed up with this. What is cloud storage? What's the cloud exactly? The cloud is simply a name that we gave to online storage of information. So, for example, I use the cloud with my uh, Google Chrome browser since it saves all my settings and my favorites automatically somewhere on the internet in a Google server. So that is cloud storage. The cloud is simply a place on the internet where things are stored. You have available, if you are using a Microsoft account in Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, cloud storage from OneDrive. OneDrive is the Microsoft cloud storage platform. It is like a hard drive on the internet. For free, you get five gigabytes of storage. For a lot of people, that could be enough. You have also the possibility to pay $1.99 to get 50, I believe it's 50 gigabytes of storage. If you're a OneDrive um, customer, I'm a, not a OneDrive, sorry, Office 365 uh, subscriber, you have one terabyte online. So I'm an Office 365 su subscriber, so I have one terabyte available online. So how do you use that OneDrive? It's quite easy in Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, thanks to the integration of um, OneDrive in the operating system. So go in your file explorer it could be on your taskbar i have it here at the bottom or you can go and search for it and just type file explorer and you will find it once you're on the file explorer you'll see on the left side that there are some folders if you don't see this go into the view at the top make sure that you click navigation pane and make sure that you have a little check mark in front of navigation pane here you have this pc this is your computer this is what's inside your hard drive, inside the computer. It's also part of, if you have any thumb drives or hard drives plugged in the USB, they're going to show there. And at the top here, I have OneDrive. This is the online storage. You need a Microsoft account for this to work. It's very important. When you open OneDrive, if you go on the left side, you'll see that there's a little arrow that you can click. It's going to point down. And these are the folders. Now, I have a lot of folders in my uh, OneDrive. If you click the OneDrive icon itself, you'll have all of these folders and files available. Now, what you are looking at is online storage. You are looking at the cloud. You are looking at what's stored on the Internet. There's a difference between the folders on the Internet and the folders on your PC. If you look at this PC instead, you'll notice that your folders don't have the same little uh, check mark, green check mark on them. This is to make a difference. So these are online, these are local. Say now that you have your favorite pictures and you want to save them to um, OneDrive. Well, first of all, click the OneDrive folder and you can choose to uh, use the image folder or the uh, folder that is already there for your pictures, but you can also personalize it. You can right click, just go into new folder and say, okay, my favorite iPhone pics. Now I've got a folder called my favorite icon iPhone pics. Now let's go back to my PC for a second by going to this PC. I'll go into pictures and I have several iPhone picture folders. What I could do is click, hold and slide it over to that folder if I want. That will remove it from here and send it to my favorite folder. So on the left side I can see I would be able to click here and say I'm going to put it to my favorite iPhone pics. 
But that's not necessarily what I want. What I maybe want is a copy. And that's the best thing to do. Keep a local copy in your computer, but put a copy on OneDrive. So then you can right click on that folder. And if you have multiple, you can simply say, I want to put the uh, iPhone pick four, pick two here. I will hold the control key, click, click. And you see they are selected in blue. Now go over one of the selected folders or files and right click and do copy. Then go into that folder that you created into OneDrive on the left side, my favorite iPhone picks in my case. Once you're there, you just go back to the center, right click, and then you paste. And now I've just created a backup of my iPhone picks through this folder and now it's on OneDrive and you see it that it, these are OneDrive folders because they have the little uh, blue or green check mark. Now these synchronize so sometimes it might take a little while but these are folders and depending on your internet connection can take from several seconds up to several minutes. When it is completed by the way you see that the blue icon becomes a green check mark. That means the update or the uh, uploading of your pictures has ended, that everything is on the cloud. So what are the advantage of using cloud storage? Um, there are two major advantages of using cloud storage. One is that if, for example, you have, you know, because some people will tell me, oh, I've got a hard drive with my pictures. So I've got, you know, a copy on a hard drive. Yeah, but if you're home, uh, you know, you get fire and your home, you know, everything is destroyed. You lose your pictures. They were stored in the same place where you lost everything. Uh, things get stolen or flood or whatever. Um, cloud storage has the advantage of being online. So even if you lose everything, at least you know that the cloud storage, things are going to be there. They're going to be on the the internet on the cloud uh, another good reason why to have cloud storage say you want to show these famous pictures of your vacation to someone and you're um, you know not at home well you can use their computer log in into your account your microsoft account and go and get these pictures and show them to your friends so this is another great thing that you can do with cloud storage so as for the um, security risk, a lot of people will say, yeah, but what about privacy? I put my personal stuff there. Is it safe? It, you know, there's no reason to think that Microsoft is looking at your stuff. There's no reason to think that nobody's watching what you're doing online. There are some other services. For example, if you're really, really uh, scared of privacy, um, you can use a paid service like, uh, for example, Carbonite. Carbonite is encrypted storage. So when you put your stuff online, if you, use your, you lose your password, not even Carbonite can help you because they will never be able to show, to, to un, un, you know, uh, decrypt basically all of your files and folders there. So there are some encrypted um, one if you want to use. But you know what? I'm not really scared about that and uh, personally I have all of my stuff on OneDrive and it's it's quite all right. Um, but you know that's the important thing. That's where having a good password with your Microsoft account is important because now it not only has email or you know control of your computer, it also has your files, your folders. So if you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when your videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, please ask. Hope these videos help you in learning more about Windows, the clouds, and whatever technology brings your way. Thank you for watching. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos.